A long, long time ago in a land far, far away. There lived a nice family, a family very much like yours and mine. Father was a very hard worker and raised much of the food the family ate right there in the garden. And mother also worked very hard at keeping the family clean and happy. There was Billy, who was the oldest, and he liked to go fishing, fly kites, and make things. Then there was Mary Ann, and she liked to skip rope, bake brownies, and have tea parties. And lastly, but not leastly, there was Jack. Jack was really a good little fella. He liked to play cowboy and astronaut, and of course, to eat brownies. One day in the spring, the whole family was in the garden helping father with the planting. And father was hoping for a real good bean crop this particular year. Jack really wanted to help. So he was putting the grow food on the little bean plants. Well, as it happened, Jack put too much on. And the next morning, the children were surprised to find out what had happened to the little bean plants. Billy! Marianne! Come here! Look! It's a giant beanstalk. Where did it come from? I wonder where it goes. Well, let's find out. Let's climb it. I'll take my kite. I bet there's some pretty good winds up there. And so they got ready. Mary Ann packed some brownies for the trip. Boy, will you look at that? How did that get here? Look how tall it is. I wonder where it goes. Hi there, Mr. Bumblesby. Do you want to go with us? You're, you're, you're going up there? Yeah, we've got everything we need. Food and a kite for flying. Hmm, brownies. <clears throat> well, maybe, uh, maybe they do need someone to go along and take care of them. Uh, got enough brownies for me? We sure do. Well, let's get going so we can get back before dark. Oh, boy, are you heavy. And so they began to climb. And they climbed, and they climbed, and they climbed. Can we take a brownie break soon? Yeah, I'm getting hungry too. <sighs> Look, I can see the top. When we get there, we can have a brownie. Oh boy. Okay, Billy, here's your... Castle? 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 It looks like a brownie to me. No, Billy, that castle over there. And what a castle! It's huge! I wonder who lives there. Maybe a giant. Do you think he has giant brownies? Jack! So our courageous group got closer and closer to the castle, not really knowing what they would find. The front door was so big, they couldn't open it. But they, being small, could easily crawl under it. Well, most of them could anyway. Ouch! Be careful! As soon as they were inside, they heard a terrible noise. What's that? A bear? No. That doesn't sound like a bear. What a messy castle. Look, it's, it's a giant. Shh. I wonder if he's a good giant. I wonder if he's a hungry giant. I know, he's probably a good and hungry giant. Jack! And with that, the giant woke up. And boy, was he hungry. Boy, am I hungry. I just said that. Let's hide, somewhere. Who's there? Quick, get behind the pot. Fee, fi, fo, fum, 
I smell the blood of a little fat man. No, I hope he doesn't find us here. Ah, here you are. Now I gotcha. Now let's see which one looks good enough to eat. No, you're too small. You're too thin. Now that's my idea of a good meal. Come on, you. We've got a date with a skillet. Hey, watch out! Help! Oh! Hey, you can't eat him. That's right. And why not? Because you didn't wash your hands. Jack! Jack? No, you can't eat him because then you'd never know. Never know what? You never know how to keep from burning your castle down or burning yourself. Mr. Bumblesbee is an expert on how to prevent fires in the home or castle. Expert? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> expert. <laughs> Just look at your fireplace. You've got a lot of things pretty close to that fire that will burn easily. Tell him, Mr. B. That's right. You know, a spark could very easily pop out onto that stuff and start a fire. It's really important that you have a screen on your fireplace to prevent this. And you'd better move that paper and stuff. Well, either have it recycled or put it in the garbage. But get rid of it. Hmm, you might have something there. Mary Ann, look at this. Oh, that looks bad. That is bad. Wires under rugs become damaged because they're walked on. Then if the wires short out, well, a fire could start. Okay, I'll remove it, and that will take care of that. Mr. B, look at this mess. Nonsense. Matches are very useful to me for lighting the fireplace and the stove. But they should be stored in a cupboard or drawer, safe and out of the way. And little children should never use matches because they could get hurt. These little things couldn't hurt anyone. They're too small. Ouch! See what we mean? What was that? You left your pan on the burner! I'll get some water to put it out. No! Water will make it explode! You should use a lid to smother the fire. Take it, slide it up onto the pan. That's it. Easy does it. Okay, okay. Now, slide the pan off the burner and turn the burner off. Boy, that was close. That fire could have burned my castle down. See how easy it was to put the fire out? Another thing you could use would be baking soda, which acts fast at putting fire out. In fact, this is used as a basic ingredient in a dry chemical extinguisher. You really are an expert on fire, Mr. B. How did you learn all of this? Well... I had to learn from experience. You see, most of these things have happened to me. But you can learn from my mistakes. Let's have a brownie break and review some of the problems. Thank you. Hmm, good. Problem, screen open, papers too close to fire. Answer? Keep the screen closed and move all the things that will burn away from the fireplace. Right. Problem, wires under rugs, worn or frayed. Answer? Wires under rugs become damaged because they are walked on. Move the lamp closer to the plug so the wires won't have to go under the rug. Problem, matches left out in the reach of all. Answer? Let me try one. Matches should be put away from the reach of younger members of the family, like in a cupboard or drawer. And adults should use extreme care when using them to prevent injury to themselves. Very good. Another problem. How would you extinguish this fire? Answer. Cover and smother. Right. Or throw a handful of baking soda on it. Right. Don't use water, it makes it splatter. Right. 
Now, Mr. Giant, how would you know if a fire were to start at night while you were asleep? I don't know. I guess I'd smell the smoke and wake up. That doesn't always happen, Mr. Giant. Since fires start small, giving off a small amount of smoke, the nose usually doesn't detect it. As the smoke builds, it puts one into a deeper and deeper sleep until they never wake up. Well, what would a person do? Get a smoke detector. A uh, what? A smoke detector. This is a device that is mounted up high in the room and is constantly testing the air for smoke. When it discovers smoke, it makes a loud, piercing sound. I thought you'd like to know how they sound when they detect smoke. Well, I wouldn't be able to sleep through that, that's for sure. With your castle being so big, you probably need, oh, about four detectors. But rather than guessing, contact your local fire department, and they can help you decide how many you should have and where to put them. Well, thank you, Mr. Bumblesby. I really appreciate all the help you've given me. It's going to get dark soon, so we should be getting back. Right. Goodbye, Mr. Giant. Goodbye, and thanks for the brownies. And with that, our group left Mr. Giant to make their way back home. They realized that what they had done that day had accomplished some good. But when the kids got home and told their parents what had happened, they didn't believe them. Now, really, kids, a castle in the clouds? And a giant who likes brownies? What's that? Uh, excuse me, but do you have any more of those brownies and maybe some milk? Well, the giant sure learned to love those kids, and especially the brownies that Mary Ann makes. And guess what? That's right. They all lived happily ever after. Can I have another brownie? Sure. Is there another brownie there I can have? Please pass the milk. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> could I, uh, could I have one more brownie, please? <laughs> Thank you.